the weight. Well, that test was none too serious, but to see how valuable this can be in practice, we've been to see one person who is using the speech system as part of his everyday life. You may remember him from one of our earlier series. Richard Gomm is severely disabled. His only means of communication is by the pointer attached to his head. He uses this to spell out letters. Over the past few years, the keyboard of his computer has been his lifeline. He's even used it to produce 80,000 words for a thesis for a doctorate in philosophy. A monumental typing task, even for someone able-bodied. His latest link with the world is a Namel speech synthesizer, which now means that, to a limited extent, he can use the phone. A Tandata autodial modem linked to a BBC Micro gets him connected. For this call, he's already prepared some phrases in advance. Board here. 472, hello. It's at the Piper Residence. Yes, hello Richard, how are you? I am well. How are you? Oh, I'm quite well, thank you. I got a problem for you. Oh, tell me about it. He types the words on the Apple Micro, and the synthesizer's software then works out the pronunciation using 400 speech rules and speaks down the line for him. Every time I access my floppy, mm. it crashes. Um, well, I think I'll have to come over and have a look at it sometime this week. Have you got a day free? Typing other words letter by letter is very slow, and might make people ring off in frustration. So he speeds things up by using some word anticipation software that he's written himself. Friday. Oh no, Friday's up. Um, have you got another day? It makes a guess at what he means from just a few letters. Thursday. And he uses single characters or codes for commonly used words. Thank you. Goodbye. John Piper is Richard's friend and technical advisor. How does he see the system developing? He can now use the telephone and speak to anyone. But you still have the problem of the rate at which he can make his messages. One of the answers that we're looking at, or one of the possibilities, is the use of an extended keyboard such as this that gives him very quick access to a very much larger range of utterances that are possible with the conventional QWERTY keyboard. Well, to prove that it can even work on live television, we've got Richard on the end of this phone. Hello, Richard. Well, you've described your system on our program notes, but can people contact you to buy the software? Yes, Well, that wasn't bad. It, the, the line isn't quite as good as it was in the film. I, I, I'm, I think you said yes if they contact me through Micro Live. Well, what machines does the software work on? BBC and Apple II. Thank you very much, Richard. Goodbye. British micro-makers are in Moscow 